You know those places where nothing likes to survive? Like radioactive wastelands, toxic lakes, or landscapes scorched by fire and ice? Turns out something not only survives there, it mutates, grows, and thrives. These are not your average house plants, these are the freaks of nature. Today we're looking at real life mutant plants that are growing in places where absolutely nothing should exist. You'd think a nuclear wasteland would be the last place you would see a field of sunflowers, but in Chernobyl that's exactly what you'll find. After the Chernobyl disaster in 1986, the soil and water in the surrounding areas became heavily contaminated with radioactive isotopes. But just a few years later, researchers noticed something strange. Sunflowers were not only growing there, but thriving. It wasn't just random. Sunflowers have the ability to absorb and remove radioactive toxins from soil and water through a process called phytoremediation. These aren't normal sunflowers, they're like genetic survivors, literally feeding on radiation and using it to grow. Scientists even used them to clean up radioactive waste in Fukushima after the 2011 disaster. These mutant plants weren't even found on Earth, they were grown aboard the International Space Station. In 2015, astronauts aboard the ISS successfully grew zinnia flowers in microgravity, but without Earth's soil, rain, or natural light. These flowers grew weird. They had curling, droopy leaves and looked very sickly at first until they adapted. Astronaut Scott Kelly helped revive them by hand watering and trimming, and they eventually bloomed into vibrant, alien looking flowers. These zinnias mutated under stress and proved plants could survive deep space missions. NASA now uses them as a test for future Mars agriculture. In the frozen wilderness of Antarctica, one of the harshest places on Earth, scientists discovered moss that's actually evolving faster than anything else on the continent. In parts of East Antarctica where average temperatures never rise above freezing, scientists were shocked to find that moss had not only survived, it was growing rapidly. Studies in 2017 found that climate change has triggered a strange burst of accelerated growth in moss across the Antarctic Peninsula. What's weirder is that this moss has become more tolerant to UV radiation and can photosynthesize in near total darkness. Essentially, it's evolving into a super plant, adapting to survive in a place where almost nothing else can live. In the radioactive fallout zone of Fukushima, something unexpected began to bloom, and it looked like it came from another planet. After the 2011 nuclear disaster in Japan, scientists began documenting strange plant mutations. One of the most famous was the faciated daisy, a mutated flower with overlapping stems, distorted centers, and warped symmetry. These were not genetically engineered, radiation caused the plant's cells to divide irregularly, creating floral anomalies that looked almost like hybrids. These mutations showed how radiation can mess with the very blue print of life, and somehow the plants kept growing anyway. This plant can dry out completely, stay dead for years, and then come back to life with just a drop of water. The Rose of Jericho, also called the Resurrection Plant, grows in deserts like the Sahara, where rainfall is nearly non-existent. In dry conditions, it curls up into a brittle brown ball and appears completely dead. But when it touches water, even just a few drops, it unfurls and turns green within hours. It's not magic, it's not Link in Wind Waker putting the water on a bomb plant, it is a survival mechanism. These plants have evolved to lose nearly all of their moisture without dying. They're practically immortal and can survive in the most barren, arid terrain on Earth. In one of the most toxic forests on Earth, the trees have mutated and they are telling a chilling story. The Red Forest near Chernobyl was one of the most contaminated places after the 1986 disaster. Many of the trees turned a reddish orange and died instantly, but the ones that remained started growing differently. 
Some grew slower with twisted trunks and deformed branches. Pine trees especially showed signs of chromosomal damage. Scientists believe the radiation caused long-term genetic mutations, creating trees that look almost like haunted versions of their former selves. They are still standing decades later as eerie reminders of nuclear catastrophe. This lake is so deadly it can turn animals into stone, yet some plants and algae call it home. Lake Natron in Tanzania has water with a pH of nearly 10.5, as alkaline as ammonia, and temperatures that reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Most life absolutely cannot survive there, but a mutant species of cyanobacteria and salt-loving algae have adapted to these hellish conditions. These organisms even give the lake its blood-red color. They've developed chemical armor to protect against the heat, salt, and caustic pH. Scientists are studying these extremophiles to understand how life might survive on planets kind of like Mars. When a nuclear power plant leaked radiation, one of the first things to respond wasn't a scientist, it was actually a fern. In the 1979 Three Mile Island accident, radioactive gases were released into the surrounding environment. Years later, researchers found that certain ferns in the area had mutated. Specifically, their spores began producing leaves with doubled or even tripled fronds. These weren't random weeds, these were ancient plants adapting in real time to radiation exposure. Some scientists believe these these mutations could be early warning signs of environmental damage, like nature's built-in radiation detector. You know what grows in total darkness, feeds on radiation, and could be the future of space travel? Mold. In 1991, scientists discovered a strange black fungus growing inside the Chernobyl nuclear reactor, literally feeding on radiation. Known as Cladosporium ferrospermum, this mold doesn't just survive radiation, it thrives on it using a pigment called melanin to absorb and convert gamma rays into energy. Later, it was successfully grown aboard the ISS. Researchers think this fungus could one day be used to shield astronauts from space radiation, a mutant plant that might help us colonize the stars. Lava flows should destroy everything in their path, but in in Hawaii, new life springs straight from solid rock. After volcanic eruptions in Hawaii, vast fields of hardened lava stretch for miles, looking like the surface of another planet. And yet, out of nowhere, little green shoots begin to appear. Plants like the lua tree are among the first to colonize fresh lava rock. They send their roots through tiny cracks, surviving on minimal nutrients. What's truly incredible is that these pioneer plants often mutate rapidly, adapting to the extreme heat, lack of soil, and high sulfur content. It's one of nature's boldest comeback stories, life reinventing itself from ash and fire. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.